Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die and the Insane Nightmare Tutorial. I'm an old guy gaming, and I'm very hungry, and my maximum stamina is reduced, and I have 14.9% infection. I'm in bad shape, guys. I'm in really bad shape. I haven't uh, come across a stump, and even if I found a stump now, I'd have to find three stumps with three honeys in it, um, and even that's going to be too much. So it's not looking good for our survival right now. Uh, so let's see. What have, what have I done off camera since I left you guys in the last episode? I went over to... Uh, these, this water area over here, uh, filled up my jars, cooked, uh, uh, put a campfire down, cooked it, drank until, you know, I had all my hydration back and then refilled up the jars and then came back here to the house and cooked them back up again. Uh, so now we have, um, we have eight jars of water. I also have stuff for bacon and eggs, but the thing is, is I'm kind of just holding off on eating that because, um... You know, we're probably going to die unless a miracle happens here. And I'd rather just, you know, save the food, you know, for our next life, so to speak. I kind of, you know, I don't like to do that, but it's just, you know, it just doesn't make sense for me to consume that food um, knowing that I'm probably not going to survive. So what we're going to do uh, in this episode is we're going to go, first thing we're going to do is go over to the trader and see if he actually has any antibiotics. And if he does, uh, you know, then we're going to see if we can figure out some way to uh, to purchase them. Um, as far as the house goes, I've done some, you know, basic upgrading on the house here. Um, so everything in here has been upgraded to, you know, level two wood. And uh, I put in a ladder here and I got a floor in up here and a couple of chests and a campfire and the sleeping bag. And I'm still, you know, this is still just a work in progress. And then out here, I cut those stairs out and just have like a little ladder that we can, uh, you know, quickly get back up into our base if we need to. But the zombies should not be able to do so. So that's pretty much where, <coughs> excuse me, where we're at at this point. Uh, we do have one point uh, that we can also spend. Let's take a look at that really quick. I think what we're going to do is we're just going to keep pumping intellect so that we can get um, to advanced engineering two for a workbench and get to mini bike master two if we don't have the opportunity to make the bicycle before that time comes. Uh, so to get to Advanced Engineering 2, we need Intellect Level 4. So let's just keep pumping Intellect for now. All right, so that takes care of our point. Uh, let's see, we found the trader off over, I think, this way. I believe this is the trader here. So let's go that direction. The other cool thing about this trader, too, is it's Trader Hugh, which means there's some stuff. He's got some pretty decent loot. And so we're going to go look through that. Um, I know, you know, we have terrible uh, lucky looter stage. I thought I saw something uh, at this point, but right now, it's, you know, we're just going to take what we can get because it's all about, you know, trying to survive here. Um, I might grab that cobblestone on the way back, but let's get the, ooh, let's see if we can get this chicken here. All right, cool. So we got some more meat from him. Just checking around, make sure there's no Zika Ruskies about. So yeah, it's too bad that um, the infection got out of control, but I mean, you can only do what you can do, right? When I was when I went to go get some water, I was looking for stumps and I didn't see any around anywhere. And we're just not in a position at this point to be doing a lot of wandering around on foot, so. Oh, nice. Okay, we'll take that. That was a nice find. Uh, let's get some more bones because we're going to need to be making some glue. Yeah, our stamina is just shot. <laughs> shot the hell, man. Shot the hell. Okay, so let's go say hello to Trader Hugh and loot. Loot his place. Loot him blind. Maybe we'll luck out and actually find some antibiotics. Uh, but the first thing I want to do is I want to see if he even has any for sale. We do have the, the other the quest to turn in from the other trader, but that's quite a trek for us to get back there. I'm thinking about holding off on that until we get some kind of a vehicle. All right, dude, do you have antibiotics? You don't. Son of a gun. All right, he's got a mini bike chassis, but that's way beyond our ability to, to do anything with. All right, well, let's just sell him whatever he'll buy from us right now. 
and he doesn't want that. I don't want that right now either. Not a high priority at the moment. Okay, so, um, yeah, shoot. All right, well, he's well, he's not going to help us. Nail. But like I said, maybe we'll actually luck out and, um, you know, find it in some loot. So let's start by looting up here. So there is a box here with nothing in it. Uh, we got a duffel bag with a can, and that is not a lootable desk. Anything in the forge? It's a destroyed forge, which is unfortunate. I'm going to take the coal. Yeah, it's too... Oh, you know what? We should check and see if his works, his uh, tool bench works. That actually would be useful. All right. we ha How many lockpicks do we have? Two. All right, let's try this. See if we get really lucky here. There's one down. And two down. Okay, well, it was worth a try. Cooking pot, maybe? No, we got some water. Some more nitrate. And uh, none of this up here is lootable. All right, let's head out this way. There's a few things in the back that we can get. We're getting a lot of brass and lead. There's a sewing kit. That's always good. Another lockpick. Some iron arrows. We'll take those. And more brass. The universe is trying to tell us something, isn't it? Okay. Anything in here? We got some oil shale. Not particularly useful to us right at the moment. Okay. Munitions box. Let's see what's in here. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're in bad shape, man. <laughs> we're in bad shape. All right, some M.E.O. mission. Let's go over here. Did we check this trash can? Yeah, we did. Okay. Oh, we were going to look and see if the workbench works. That would be actually very super phantasmagorically useful if it was. It doesn't. Of course it doesn't. Well, there's a little axe upgrade. Okay, let's go check the other munitions crate, and then we'll go down and check the um, uh, the witch call it the the chem bench down below come on give us something good wouldn't mind a blunderbuss um all right just more am and Emma yeah ammunition ammunition okay let's go check down here Come on, fella. He's hurting. More ammunition. Well, if we ever do find a blunderbuss, we got some ammo for it. And the camo station is hosed. No surprise there. Okay, well, there's two more boxes to check in here. Working stiff. Oh, wow. All right. That's pretty decent stuff. And this box here. Pink dye. Yeah, that's exactly what we needed, pink dye. Goodness gracious. Okay, so that's all the looting we can do here. We did find some nice stuff. Not really what we need at the moment, but nice stuff nonetheless. I don't understand why we can't sell that. It seems silly that we can't sell it, but I guess we can. not Okay, we got a couple more things that we can sell back to Trader Hugh. Sell his own stuff back to him. And, uh, yeah, we're pretty much shit out of luck, guys, for... <laughs> for antibiotics in this place. Could you be any louder? I probably could. I dead? probably could be louder. Um, all right, so let's see. What do we want to sell? We want to sell them this. Um, I know we're going to need brass eventually, but it's just not a high priority right now, and I'd rather get the coin. 165 coin. We'll sell them that. We're definitely going to keep the anvil and the steel for later. Uh, he can. We can have the oil shale. Uh, he can have the crossbow bolts. Uh, he's not going to want to buy that stuff. I hesitate to sell ammo. We're going to keep ammo. And I think that is all he's going to buy from us. That's right. Do the math. Okay, so these should be the same. 
So we're just going to scrap a doodle that, and these should be the same. So we'll scrap that. Okay, we're a bit encumbered, so we're going to have to chuck a couple of things that just are not essential for us. Oh, did we try and sell him the polymers? There we go. I guess you're not so bad. Couple more all. pennies. Yeah, I know I'm starving. Okay, so we're gonna keep the ammo like I said. He didn't want that. We're just gonna chuck that for now. We just got we gotta lighten up so we can move, you know. Uh I think ten things of iron are not worth taking. Will he buy those? Oh he will. Okay. I didn't think he would buy iron, but apparently he does. So that gets us just one slot. And uh, I think, yeah, I don't Thank see God anything else I'm going to get rid of at the moment. Next time I'll charge you for that. All right. So we got we to gotta get out of here with all these Zombaruskis around. Let's figure out the best way to get get done with that. Can't quite get up there. Okay. We got Zeke's on both sides. And okay, that's Arlene. Let's see if we can pull her down here. Ouch. Okay, let's get up here. See, the, the, the real bad thing right now is we have, like, no stamina. We are so badly, badly out of stamina. <laughs> it sounds like those Zeeks are mostly over that direction. I'm not going to be able to get out of there. Yeah, this is not a good situation. Just going to throw that out there. Let's go. Can we get up on this roof? Because I can't, you know, I can't put any blocks down, of course. All right, let's go up here. We cannot be detected once we get outside because we can't run and we don't have enough stamina to... Uh, you know, to fight. We'll just, it'll run out so quickly. Hmm. We're in a bit of a pickle here. A little bit of a pickle, folks. Okay, so we got Skater Punk down there. Let's go. We got zombies to the left of us, zombies to the right. Here I am, stuck in the middle. So there's three Zeeks down there. Let's run over this way. We're probably going to have to... We're probably going to have to crouch and, you know, wait till they de-aggro us. Okay, good. So they're way over there now. I think we might be able to sneak out. Okay, let's go.
Okay, so we made it back to the base, but we are in bad shape, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so let's put um, some stuff away in here. Nothing's really organized at this point. I'm just kind of putting things wherever. Uh, so one thing we could work on, I guess, is... Um, all right, let's put that stuff in there. We have 194 coin, plus whatever I left back at the fire station. Uh, so I guess I'm going to go out and get some more wood. We could work on getting a forge made. Uh, so for that, we're going to need three duct tape and ten leather and three pipes. Yeah, you know what? I th I think, doggone it, I think I left that stuff back at the fire station. So maybe what we should do, or maybe what I should do is go back there, turn in our quest, and get our stuff excuse me, and then come back here. I kind of wanted to wait, though, until we could take a vehicle because it's it's quite a long trek to get back over there. You know, it's way back down here. So I think, yeah, I don't know. I think we're probably going to be better off just to stay in town and keep looting and try and get, you know, the stuff that we need. Um, plus the fact that, you know, if, if if and when we die, I'd rather die close to, to the new base than way out in the boonies anyways, you know, because that would take forever to retrieve our stuff uh, because we are playing with, you know, drop all on death. So, okay, well, I guess then what that means is we should go loot some POIs. There's not really anything else to do at the moment. I don't have the stuff that I need to make the forge. Um. So, yeah, let's do it. And as long as we're super careful... We're just going to pretty much keep going until we drop dead, you know? But I'm not going to, like I said, I'm not going to eat. It doesn't make sense for me to eat because we're going to die pretty soon anyways. So, so I just want to save the food for when we're healthy. Uh, so the first thing we need to do, of course, is get some more wood. And then we're, we'll choose one of these POIs, maybe just that one right over there. It doesn't really matter. And go in and start looting some more stuff. We could we could go do the A-frame, too. It does, kind of doesn't really matter a whole lot. Yeah, our stamina is so bad right now. <laughs> Which is terrible. Just terrible. I will go ahead and, and drink because that'll help, you know, with our stamina a little bit. Okay, so let's pick a POI. I guess we'll, yeah, let's just go do this one. I know. Your belly's empty. Ooh. You can get some good wood out of here. And it's really easy to cut, too. Ooh, we got a treasure map. Nice. Let's read that. That's something we could do. Um, it's probably, but yeah, it's quite a ways off. We'll have to wait till we get a vehicle. Okay, so... No zombies in this immediate room. There's a toilet there that we could take apart for uh, for pipes. I do have my wrench, right? Yeah, I do. It's a purse. All right, nobody in here. I'll take some dirty water. All right, let's take this toilet apart. Got one pipe. Hopefully we can get some pipes out of this too. And maybe the sink, I don't know. No pipes out of that. I got mechanical parts from a bathtub. Interesting. This has got to give us a pipe. Yeah, we just got one. Nice. Okay. So I think uh, I think we already had one pipe back at the base, and we needed three. So I think we're good on pipes for the forge. Nice. We got a decent amount of pipes from that. Okay. Uh, 
could take the lamp apart, but I don't think I will at this point. All right, let's put that there. I need to look at something. Yeah, we can block that. Okay. Got a zombo right over there. Let's get his attention. Sounds like we have maybe two zombies. Okay, let's get this upgraded. Now we got big boy over there. Glad he's not coming over here. He's being stupid and going out the other way. All right, let's. What? <laughs> Come over here, dummy. What are you doing? He's definitely got the brain worms going on. I don't know, man. That it seems like. The pimps have kind of screwed up the AI of these zombies. The smartest I remember them being was Alpha 17. And they just seem to have gone back downhill from there. Well, um, we need him to come over here to kill him. I don't know why in the hell he's not. It's going to take... Oh, shit. I keep missing because I keep trying to hit him in the head. I need to just hit him in his fat, his fat belly. <laughs> Get over here, you dumbass. <sighs> so it's not like I can go in there and get him, you know. There's no way I have enough stamina for that. He's going to burn up all of our arrows. I got the iron arrows here. Okay, this is ridiculous. Let's repair this. Yeah, I don't know what the hell's wrong with him. It's just, it's just frustrating as all get out. What happens if we go out here? Will that encourage him to come over here? Gotta make sure we don't run into any more zombos. What's he going to do? <laughs> yep, I don't get it. I don't get that. Let's go up and just kind of move around a bit. We got somebody's attention in the attic. I can't kill him if he doesn't come over to our kill zone, though. Okay, I think this is getting a little dangerous. Get back in here and get this blocked quick. Now come here, dummy! What the hell? Ooh, you're feral. Ah! Okay, time to go. Run away! Don't run out of stamina. Oh shit. Don't run out of stamina. You're running out of stamina. No 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 no. Up. Okay. Um now see now, <laughs> now he comes over there. Oh shoot! Okay, 
We lost our torch, too. Uh, all right, guys. Well, doggone it. Sorry that it's so damn dark. Guess we could make another torch. We have some animal fat, don't we? Yeah, this is... Um, I'm just kind of in a bad spot right now, you know? Because I have no stamina to do anything. Um, we're, we're really just kind of in a place where we need to wait to die. Sounds terrible, I know, but what can you do, right? What can you do? It makes no sense at this point for me to eat food. Um, because... You know, once our infection reach 20, reaches 25%, then even a normal, uh, like, blue and white antibiotic isn't going to be able to fix it. And then we're definitely screwed, because then we would need two of them, you know, or one of them in a honey and that sort of thing. It's just, I can't see that happening at this point. I really can't. So, um, we have two options then. I, I, I could, you know, I could strip myself of all of my loot and just put it all in a bag and then go out and let a zombo eat us for dinner. Um, that would be the most efficient thing to do at this point because, um, you know, then we can move on, right? Um, the other option is I wait until the infection kills me and just, you know, try and do stuff with no stamina. And that sounds like a hell of a lot of fun. <laughs> Not. So, yeah, I don't usually get in this situation. I mean, I'm usually able to take care of, of infection before it gets out of hand, but I just... He still has all the arrows sticking out of him. How funny. Uh, just didn't, you know, wasn't in the cards this time. So, anyway, well, I, and, but see, the thing is, is I'm, I'm not the type of player in general that just will lay down and die. I like to try and fight to the bitter end kind of thing, but at, at some point it gets to be, it, it no longer makes sense to do that, is what I'm trying to say. Come over here, lady. We can kill another Zombo and get some more XP or something. So, yeah, um, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll kind of think about what I'm going to do. One way or the other, when we start the next episode, I will have a new life. And I'll, you know, I don't know if I'm going to tough it out and just, you know, maybe try and do some more upgrading. Um, or, you know, just go let the Zombo kill me or something. Um, let's look at one other thing here. Uh, if we... What am I looking for? Status. Starving infection. Okay. She's feral. She's hitting this too, my goodness. And I have no stamina. Oh, there you are. Give me my arrows back, dumbass. Yeah, we got some of our arrows back. <laughs> These guys might do the job for us, actually, you know. We got a feral and a fat guy hitting on that. Both of them together are going to do some major damage. I mean, I know I can run upstairs and get away from him, but it's like, you know, what's the point, right? Well, let's keep fighting until we can't fight anymore. Just how we roll, man. It's just how we roll. I have no stamina, though. <laughs> Absolutely out of stamina. Quit breaking my hatch, you dumbasses. Out of stamina. I can get two hits off before I run out of stamina.
All right, guys. Well, I think I'm gonna let you go here, and um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go off and die. <laughs> and so when we start the next episode, uh, it should we should have our new life, and then we'll just pick up from there and keep going. Okay. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I don't know how exciting it was, but <laughs> it's just the way things worked out. Uh, and uh, yeah, we'll catch in the next one. Bye bye.